What's up, everybody? This is DJ Nocturnal representing the Sleep Rockets crew. Hitting you with another review. This time I'm taking a look at the all-new tablecloth slip mats. Created by D-Styles. Yes! I just picked these up. I ordered them from uh, StokioWorld.com. These are the current brand new tablecloth uh, slip mats. These, uh, the whole concept of the tablecloths is not exactly that new. They've uh, been around for a number of years, actually. D Styles and uh, the Good Doctor have teamed up and brought you the tablecloths before. But this is the new shit. This is the uh, made in Japan shit. Check that out. Yeah. This comes with two slip mats and four slip sheets. Uh, the ultimate slip mat for turntable musicians. So if you were a turntable musician, you were a turntablist, you're a DJ, um, you're spending uh, every Sunday nights at the roller rink, these probably ain't for you. But if you're a musician, they got you. Turntablists, they got you. DJs, why not? You can baby scratch, you can cut, they got you. These also come with cue markers sticker pack included so let's take a look at the back this looks like what you're gonna get these are your uh, Q marker sticker pack included and then it has the whole uh, story of how D styles uh, even came up with these over-the-top super dope awesome fantastic voyage slip mats or tablecloths there's a website tablecloth.jp because these are Japanese they are wrapped by Stokio, and uh, these are the scratch editions. This is a performance index. You might be asking yourself, what's so dope about these, Knock? What the hell makes these so tight? They're breathable. Your slip mats can now breathe. They're anti-static. They're featherweight. They're heat-treated. They have special adhesive. They're waterproof. Damn, damn, god damn it, they're durable. And they're environmental, uh, environmentally friendly. And they're made out of space technology. So that means that aliens built these up in their alien sweatshops up in Mars. And they're 100% sucker free. So, pull these out. Let's see what we got here. Boom! There they are. D Styles tablecloth, slip mat. Dope. So you got the back. It's from what you expect from the previous tablecloth series, real smooth. The front is a nice little felt. Uh, right now, I got these acrylic slip mats on here. It's going to take these off. Take the slip sheet out of here, too. And then uh, let's put this on here. Man, these are, these are nice, man. I know I just got them on the platter, but shit, these are slippery. They feel good. Let's put a record on there. These, these seem like they're cool, man. You can, you can really feel the featherweight in here. They're not heavy. They're indeed featherweighted. You can feel it, though. You can tell right off the bat, man. I know those acrylic slip mats I had on here a minute ago were uh, they're slightly thicker than this, but they're not that thick. But, yeah, man, they feel good. They feel really responsive. They feel like you'll be able to get busy, do your thing. So, shit, let's, let's compare it, though. Take the record back off. The new D-Styles. Current generation, new edition, tablecloth. Let's uh, switch it. I got a bag full of slip mats. Let's test it. This is a QSU edition butter rug. You guys are familiar with butter rug. Thud, Thud Rumble puts these out. Uh, DJ Kubert, all the fine folks at Thud Rumble. Uh, these are these don't really have these have more of a nylon opposed to a felt kind of uh, finish, but this is still that kind of slippery stuff on the back. These feel slick too. But honestly, off the bat, they didn't feel as slick as these. These felt a little more more slippery. These these definitely have a have, have their own kind of unique feel. So a record, put a record on. These feel heavier. These do not have the featherweight technology, but they're still good. They're still butter rugs. They feel cool, but I can feel the difference off the bat. With the tablecloth, it was way more slick, and yet I still felt like I had control. 
Uh, I feel like I have control of these, but these feel a little more heavier. So I'm not really able to get as loose on here as I would as, as I would like to. So let's go ahead and take that off. These are still dope though. Big ups to uh, Thud Rumble. But these right here, these right here, are kind of funky. They have a, that's just, man, it's slick and yet, yet like, you have full control. It's still slippery as shit, but it's a trip, dude. It's a trip. There's definitely a, a big difference between the tablecloth and the butter rug. Shh, crazy. Let's go ahead and see what else we got in the package. We got your slip sheets. These are for putting underneath your tablecloths to make them even more slippery. Uh, I tend to use these. I know some guys don't. They think they're slippery enough. But depending on what I'm doing, especially if I'm using a higher grade of a uh, piece of vinyl, a thicker piece of vinyl, I'll, I'll rock these. Some some Serato vinyls are kind of thick, so those are cool to have. Let's see what else we got. Ah, uh, another one. Another slip sheet. Box that to the side. You got your, obviously, your second tablecloth. Yes, they do come in pairs. So, that. And my stickers should be in here somewhere. Let me find them. Get out of here. All right. Here we go. Your tablecloth, slip mat, official stickers. Actually, what these are actually really used for is, uh... These were used for um, labeling your records. I don't know why I just drew a damn blank on that. Real DJs notice. These are your clocks. These are your uh, set cue points with, and these are just really cool D saw stickers. So go ahead and uh, mess with these. These are cool. Kind of similar to what Kubert's doing with uh, his whole uh, labels for your tables series. I don't know if you guys are up on those, but uh, Kubert straight up put out. A sheet. Uh, I think I have one. I don't know where it's at right now. But he put out an actual whole package of all kinds of turntable labels and hence the name labels for your tables. But these are fresh too, man. I appreciate it. I'll definitely be using these. Um, but yeah, man, there it is. Pretty much these are fresh. Like I said, they have more of a felt top to them. The bottom is like your slippery nylon. But it has a weave and a pattern in here that, that it's weird. It gives you full control, but yet it's still very slippery. They're light. They weren't playing when they said they have featherweight technology. They're serious. This shit's it's dope, dude. I definitely suggest picking them up. If you're serious about your decks, if you're serious about uh, your scratch abilities and all that kind of shit, yo, trust me. Tablecloth. Slip mats. Created by D-Styles. Are Dope! You can get them at StokeHillWorld.com. Uh, maybe if you ask D-Styles nicely, he'll tell you where else you could get them. Or maybe he'll even have a pair for you that he might sign and charge you 200 bucks for. I don't know. But they're definitely fresh. I definitely recommend picking them up. Uh, I believe I got these for somewhere around 20 25 bucks. I don't recall. They just came out. Got them through www.StokeHillWorld.com. Shout out to D. Shout out to Gene. Shout out to Yuji. Everybody out there in Tokyo. I am DJ Nocturnal. This has been another review. Hope you enjoyed it. Hit like, comment. Tell me what kind of slip mats you prefer. If you like the butter rugs, if you got some off the wall kind of janky ass slip mats that you made out of your mom's sweatshirt, I don't know. But hit let me know. Drop a comment. Hit the thumbs up, thumbs down. Say what up, talk shit. I don't give a fuck. All right. Nocturnal Sleep Rockers. Peace.